Hello, and welcome to the Adventures of Siberia. We are playing Space Engineers. Also, we are rocking out the Industrial Overhaul mod. And today, I am showcasing one of my latest builds. On this save here, we've been trying to get the space, which hopefully will happen this weekend. And this is what I have mustered in order to do so. I am calling this puppy the Skull Kid and the Skull Miner. So the idea here is this ship runs on rocket fuel. If you look here, let me go ahead and get my tools out. These are small rocket fuel tanks. They hold rocket fuel and these are rocket thrusters. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on really quickly so you can take a look at the firing of these thrusters. Let's turn them on and you get this orangey lovely glow. I don't want to do the space bar because I don't want to burn my platform there but this gives you an idea of what it does left and right. Um, anyways I am super stoked. Uh, from what I understand the hydrogen uh, I'm sorry the uh, Rocket fuel thrusters are indeed stronger than the hydrogen ones. The difference is making fuel is a little bit more difficult. We need a uh, oil cracker, we need a bitumen extractor, and we also need a fuel uh, refinery, this guy over here. In order to create the fuel for this guy, which means that when I go into space, I'm going to have to be very cautious of how much fuel I spend out there in order to make it back. Um, the other thing I set this uh, ship up with is a couple of hydrogen engines in order to recharge its batteries. It does have a hydrogen tank in the middle here on their disconnector and six large cargo containers. Now, I'm hoping that the re-entry is uh, easy enough with all these thrusters that I have on the bottom here, which it should be. I've tested everything except for when yeah, it is critical. fully loaded. So I do wanna go ahead and do that at some point. But um, honestly, I think it'll do just fine. I uh, went ahead and also added some parachutes just in case things got a little out of hand. Now, one of the other features of this uh, ship is this lovely light laser turret. This is the small grid version. Gives me a thousand meter range. On the back here, I have a <clears throat> rotor that is attached to a large head and attached to a large grid ore detector. I don't plan for this ore detector to be here for very long. Just enough to go out there and be able to scan an entire asteroid with having without having to spend too much fuel while I'm flying around it. And here's a large grid version of that light laser turret. It gives me an extra 250 meters, so a total of 1,250. And those are pretty much all the perks of this particular guy. I also went ahead and set up a survival kit with a cryopod here. Our cockpit is fully... Um, airtight for when we are out in space this is a livable area here um you know i went ahead and added a few extra seats in case we need to take a crew with us or anything like that and also a few lcd panels in case we need to run any uh scripts and also a couple of um programmable blocks in there uh yeah this is really cool i'm very excited um, along with it, for when we get out there, we are definitely going to have to gather some materials. I went ahead and put together this little guy. Um, he's just a basic small grid miner uh, with the main idea that as long as we have ice around, he is self-sufficient. It has two engines to power himself up. We have a medium cargo container and about eight of these little small hydrogen tanks along with uh, two of the advanced drills. So we got plenty of space to pick up some materials out there. Um, I'm really hoping to get some uh, uranium and uh, some platinum as well. 
along some other things. I think I need some sulfur too. So anything that's different from what I've been collecting here on Earth that I can pick up at an asteroid out there. Um, you know, that's kind of the idea with this guy here. So guys, no. I will be posting this on the Steam Workshop as Fuel the rocket critical. ship. Um, I'm going to leave the little miner out just to make it a challenge that you have to build your own. But this is super exciting. This thing flies super fast. And I'm going to do a few little videos here for you just to demonstrate that in a minute. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so very much for subscribing. I appreciate all the love. Keeps me motivated. I will see you guys on the next one.